Hello, how's everybody doing? Um, today I'd like to show an important step in the process of hanging an ax. Um, as you all know, I hang a lot of axes and hatchets. Um, so I got this uh, Fayette R Plum <clears throat> claw hatchet and uh, pretty cool. It's marked with the owner's stamp, LT. <clears throat> Anyhow, so the, the eye on this thing was really out of whack. Um, this thing, uh, it says it's handmade. Um, a lot of times, you know, those were still still made in a production uh, in a factory and whatnot um, by hand. Uh, anyhow, when the eye was drifted um, up, up here, it had a really big belly too much of an hourglass shape to it um and uh they must have they have must have just put in a big wedge and had you could see it it's kind of like a little crotch <clears throat> that's just a character of you know doing it by hand you know when they when they forge this they uh, put a drift through one side and and then the other side and that and that did it created an hourglass those are really good on hammers and stuff um axes too but if the, if it's too too much when that when there's too much of a pinch on that hourglass to get enough wood for it to go all the way through by the time it comes through the top you've got nothing left so um, anyhow, and that's what I got to do on that. But one, one important thing, um, normally I do, I, what I do is I file these eyes out um, because you, even, even a newer head that was, uh, you know, put on straight at the factory and you, you knock all that eye wood out of there. And, you know, th this is really sharp right here. And, um, you know, that, that's going to lend a lot to it going down on the wood, um, and not digging in. <clears throat> so anyhow, I've got a, a half round I like to use. Um, I'll dig in the round, the round part a little bit and then go on the flat and kind of clean it up and you want to keep you want to keep working the entire plane of that eye um, just don't go in one spot <clears throat> so I, I like to clean up the bottom and the top um, this one was buggered pretty good um, you can see that's the top of the eye and it it's it's in about I'd say almost a sixteenth of an inch so I'm going to clean that up and uh, up top I like to um, when I when I clean that up I like that to be fairly square um, because if you like on the bottom I like to do a little chamfer um, and that just, that just widens that out just a little bit more so it can come on, it can come down on the wood. Up top here though, I've done that, uh, dead a micro bevel and it, just from looking at it, it appears that it didn't wedge wide enough, which isn't the case. So that's one tiny little detail you want to watch out for at the top of the eye. <clears throat> so anyhow, I'm going to get to filing that and uh, I'll uh, come back with another uh, video and some photos. Y'all have a good day now.